Okay nice bana on to the next one kupitia ulimwengu wa siasa mtazamaji wangu najua itashangaza watu wengi lakini hapo hapo bado itawafurahisha watu fulani lakini mimi sidhani kama nina makosa kwa sababu kazi yangu ni kukupa taarifa namna ambavyo uh, vinaingia sasa right now uh, taarifa inasema hivi from all the things we have analyzed 2023 is not looking good there are clear signals that it is going to be a tough year said the cs na kama unashindwa kuelewa ni cs mgani hapo chini nadhani wamenyosha maelezo brace for tough times treasury cs njunguna ndungu wants kenya sasa hiyo ndo taarifa ambayo ipo mtazamaji wangu na nimesema tuizungumzie uh, kwa undani tuone itakuwaje kwaje najua kuna wengine ambao hawajafurahia uh, issue hii lakini <laughs> kuna wengine ambao obvious lazima watakuwa wanaifurahia na mnajua ni watu gani wanaifurahia Sisi kwamba wanafurahia kwa sababu wao wana uwezo eti mwaka 2023 itakuwa rais kwao lakini no. Uh, the reason why wanafurahia ni kwa sababu wao ni waazimio. Alafu najua furaha ya watu waazimio ni kuona <laughs> serikali ya Kenya kwanza inakosa kufanikiwa kwa sababu mwisho siku eh, waliwaambia kwamba e, unajua hii kitu ambacho mmechagua yeye itafanya kazi. So eh, tunawapea muda muone kama itafanya au haifanyi. So the more uh, vitu vinaendelea kuwa tough the more anaendelea kufurahia watu wazimio. Si eti kwamba wao wana uwezo Uh, wa kufanya mwaka 2023 iwe nzuri lakini furaha yao ni kuona huku kuna kwama lakini uzuni wa upande huu mwingine wa Kenya Kwanza ni kwamba vitu wa visongi unajua mwisho siku anatakiwa ku prove <laughs> watu wazimio kwamba mlisema bwana hii chaguo haikuwa nzuri lakini kwetu sisi mnaona mna inafanya kazi eh vitu vinakaa vizuri so uh, ndo the reason why nimekwambia kwamba kuna wengine ambao wamefurahia wengine uh, hawajafurahia so vitu kama hivi ni vigumu sana kuambiwa uh, nisha kuambia sio kila kitu ambacho kinaendelea uh, kwa serikali utapata nafasi kujua au utaambiwa mtazamaji wangu but ni rahisi kujua pia at some point kama we ni mtu ambaye uko very sharp kwa sababu unaangalia tu anavyo behave uh, serikali yenyewe na nikizungumzia serikali nazungumzia Ruto pamoja na Gashagwa angalia Ruto vitu ambavyo sasa hivi ameweka focus a uh, kwao unajua kuapishana majaji pale sijui kuleta hasla fundabok pia ukiona aina mwelekeo angalia sijui akina nani uh, sijui anapewa nafasi kazi za hapa na pale kazi za kiserikali so unaona vitu ambavyo wameka focus yao uh, na angalia uh, on the other side angalia Rigathi Gashagwa juu skati mmemuona <laughs> kwenye video kwa nadhani nilicheza mpaka kwenye uh, platform yetu ikana kuonyesha namna ambavyo ameenda mlima ikaa naomba anasema kwamba unajua inchi tumebarikiwa na nini but hatuna hatuna mvua so alikuwa anaomba pale kwa ajili ya Mwenyezi Mungu bwana tupe mvua angalau tu, tuwe bwana e, wakulima wetu wapate a, namna ya kuendesha ukulima wao ndio mwisho siku tupate nini a, tupate bidhaa tofauti tofauti ambayo e, itatusaidia au tupate a, products ambazo at least zinaweza zikatusaidia kama mahindi unaona eh na mambo kama hayo kwa sababu unaelewa sasa Uh, tuna ugumu kabisa kwenye upande wa uh, vyakula na vitu kama hivyo so ikaro gadi pia anasema yes juu nime bags juu na nini eh, foreigners watupe chakula na nina vitu kama hivyo sasa unatakiwa kuwa mjanja ukisha kuwa mwananchi wa Kenya unatakiwa kuchanuka kwa sababu hapo usipochanuka eh, watakuonyesha vumbi sana kwa sababu pale tayari unatakiwa kuelewa kwamba anachojaribu kufanya gashagwa ni kukuonyesha kwamba sio rahisi kwa sababu mtu kama yule ndo awe kwenye mood kama hiyo ya kusema kwamba begging food from foreigners ni ishara tosha kwamba hapa kimeumana mipango haziendani yani unajua walikuja hapa wakatoa subsidies so mwisho siku wanashindwa kuelewa kutendaje kwa sababu formula yetu ni kama haifanyi kazi unaelewa mtazamaji wangu so kama haujaipata hii taarifa vizuri nataka tuende step by step now Two weeks after the new year of 2023, the new Kenya Kwanza Alliance Coalition government deliver, delivered some heartbreaking news to Kenyans. Nataka tuende pole pole tu mtazamaji wangu ndo uelewe exactly what's going on. Now, according to verifiable uh, news sources on January 12, uh, 2023, the government has warned Kenyans of tough times ahead urging them to find ways to adapt to the uh, devastating times. Unanelewa. According to Treasury Cabinet Secretary Professor Njuguna Ndumu, the country's financial crisis has reached an imaginable proportions and the government is powerless to save it at this point. 
au mimi au mimi nipo kwenye ile group ya watu ambao wanafurahia jamani na sijui kwa sababu nafaa kulia but pia siwezi nikalia bwana si tuliwaambia mchague nani eh mweke option yenu vizuri si ndio tulisema hapa mkaona kama ni mchezo ndio hivyo sasa taarifa inasema hivi serikali inaambia wakenya kwamba mjitafutie namna nyingine ambayo itahakikisha kwamba mwaka huu mwaka 2023 angalau msiteseke sana ndio kuteseka mnaenda kuteseka <coughs> lakini sasa mnaambiwa na serikali ambayo mlichagua iwasaidie kwamba jitaftieni mbinu zingine za ku survive you see it's very simple serikali tayari na unaambiwa hapa mwisho and the government is powerless to save it at this point yani sema ambapo tumefika hata serikali yenyewe haiwezi kukusaidia wacha wao wa kule mamishara yao sasa the, 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 the funniest part ni kwamba unajua wao wanaendelea ku, ku survive eh? si tu kwamba wao mishara yao inakatwa Mm-mm. wao wanaendelea ku mishara yao inaingia kama kawaida magari yao yanapigwa mafuta kama kawaida wanaenda retreat kama kawaida watoto wao wanasomeshwa kila kitu wanafanyiwa yani ya, yani wao maisha yao si tu kwamba inabadilika yani mkimuona Rigathi Gashago anasema oh na bembeleza sijui na nini anabembeleza kwa kamera afa kitoka hapo anakula mkati e, chai kabisa ya rangi anakula ugali nyama yani yani yeye anaishi kwenye ndoto yake lakini sasa wewe ambaye sasa wewe wewe kabisa wewe ambaye ulidanganywa wewe oh, kapiga kura kabisa ndio unaambiwa utafute mbinu nyingine ya kujisaidia mwaka 2023 hivi ni vitu ambavyo amewezi mkaambiwa in fact mimi Nashukuru sana huyu e, CS wa, 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 wa wapi wa treasury e, njungu na ndungu kwa kutu kwa kuwaambia ukweli sio kutuambia kuwaambia ukweli ambao nyinyi mlipigia e, Kenya kwanza kula kwamba mjitayarisheni sasa hivi ilipo yani hata Ruto mwenyewe hawezi akawasaidia Tiger Shago mwenyewe hawezi akawasaidia so inabidi mvumilie hivyo hivyo unanielewa eh so iko hivi he also stated that Kenyans should expect consumer prices to skyrocket <laughs> Ah, tamu sana by the way. In the coming days as a result of the removal of subsidies by the country's head of state. Honorable William Samuel Ruto, which he claimed planned the economy, the government has delivered a sharp warning today. It has left more people panicking over what the government has said. Unanelewa? So hapo tayari unatakiwa kujua mambo ni mabaya sana na serikali yenyewe ishakwambia kwamba hapa bwana sisi hatuna uwezo bwana. E, mjitafutia ni namna ambavyo mtakaa sisi hatuwezi tukasaidia. Si ndio? Ngiambiwa vitu bwana mnatakiwa kuelewa kwamba oya papa piga kura hapa usipige hapa usidanganywe na shilingi 2000 3000. Ushapeana huko hela zako sasa hivi unangangana na maisha. Jamani kujeni hapa kwanza mkubalieni hawa kina mama mboga wakae hapa kina hasla wakae hapa mbele wanisikilize vizuri. Kama wewe ni mama mboga hakikisha kwamba una maintain vizuri sana biashara zako, kuwa na connection nzuri na customers wako wachana na issues nyingi wachana na hizi loans za hasla hizo zitakupea stress hicho ni kitu cha kwanza mimi najua kwa, si kama mimi sijui biashara sasa hivi mbovu hiyo hiyo sukuma yenyewe ndio uone mtu anakuja kuinunua ni baada ya muda fulani fulani ambaye pia anakuja kununua na kideni uwezi ukarudisha loan sasa pambana tu kivi yako maintain na nani supplier wako akuletee kama ni mboga na kuletea vizuri na katia watu wako maisha inaendelea lakini kama utakaa hapo eti sasa unangojea serikali bana yani wakati wa kampeni zilisha kitambo sana hizo ndo zinakuwa gani nyakati za kupata hela za wanasiasa sasa hivi hakuna kitu ambacho yani hauta unaona size kitambo mngemuona hivi mfikie kupea hela fulani sasa hivi uwezi hata ukamuona ndio reality na mkiambiwa mnaona kama oh siyo mtu apendi nani siyo mtu apendi nani hapana so issue kutopenda mtu ni issue kuongea ukweli sasa sasa hivi inabidi mvumilie na mkae hivyo hivyo mpaka mwaka 2027 kwa sababu sababu wakishaanza kusema oh mwaka 2000 unajua iko hivi eh sasa kuwa sharp iko hivi Ruto anasema siyo mtu pe siyo time 6 months ya nini ye yeah, yupo hapo kwenye 6 months so inamaanisha baada ya kama miezi msita hapa au oh, miezi sita sorry that's Um, mwezi wa sita ndo vitu vitaanza kukaa sawa lakini sasa anayesimamia store unajua <laughs> sasa hapa kuna statement kutoka kwa watu wawili kuna boss yeye yeah, yupo tu huo sasa ni William Saboruto afu sasa kuna mwenye store sasa yeye yeah, yupo yeye yeah, anajua kitu ambacho kikitolewa kitalisha watu kiasi fulani ndo washaambia ni kubaya huu ndani ni kubaya ashaambia huu ndani ni kubaya yani imefikia tu hata serikali yenyewe haina ujanja kwa sababu alishatoa subsidy kumpani Shuhuru na Raila. Unaona eh? So hapo tayari unatakiwa kujua sio rahisi 
mlivo kwa mkitarajia. Uh, so ndo taarifa ambayo nilikuwa nataka niwafikishie uh, watazamaji wangu. Sijajua mtaizungumziaje au mnaionaje about maoni yenu ni uh, raisi sana au ni muhimu kabisa sio raisi lakini muhimu kabisa mniachie hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments mnahisi mambo fresh atakuwa sawa tuwape muda au ndio hivyo formula zao tayari uh, zimewacha kufanya kazi unajua hakuna kitu kibaya kama uh, kutaka kitu alafu unapewa alafu unashindwa kufanikisha hakuna kitu kibaya kama hicho mtazamaji wangu so let's wait and see um, hakikisha kwamba unajiunga na familia kwa kusubscribe kwa sababu mambo bado ni mengi sana Eh, stories bado ni nyingi sana unatakiwa kupata mtazamaji wangu so kama hauja subscribe hakikisha kwamba unajiunga na familia muda wote wewe uh, unataka na mimi nitahakikisha kwamba hizi taarifa unazipata muda unaotakikana nitoe tu shukrani pia za dhati kwa wale ambao mnaendelea ku support double updates uh, kwa kutuma mchango wenu lakini pia vile vile kwa kupiga simu kutuma message na uh, issues bado zitakuwa ni nyingi sana so tutaendelea kuwasiliana na hapa ndo nyumbani sidhani kama kuna sehemu uh, nyingine mtazamaji wangu tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye